Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can convert a generic looking Google Sheets client intake form, something that looks like this, or that looks like this, to something that looks like this. If you are interested in seeing how I created this professional customized looking client intake forms in Google Sheets, keep watching. Before we get started though, I wanna show you what a typical client intake form might look like. This is something that is designed in Canva. It is very professional looking. It is very robust. It has a variety of different questions that you can use. The downsides of using Canva, depending on what stage you are in your business. If you're looking to use this form completely electronic, meaning that you want to be able to send it to your clients and have your clients type in their responses and check off boxes that they need to check off and return it to you electronically, you need to take this form through an additional step. Now, while this is not very difficult to do, you might be in the point of your business where you want something that's very, very straightforward, or maybe you're not looking to create something very robust, or you're looking to create something much simpler and quicker to use. That's where Google Forms comes in. Google Forms is free to use. It is readily available to anyone. All you need is a Google account and you can create one. Your client doesn't even need to have Google accounts to use the form. All they need to do is receive the link of the form, respond to the questions and hit submit. It is mobile friendly, meaning you don't have to worry about if they're using it on their phone or their computer or their tablet. It doesn't really matter. For a free tool, it has a lot to offer. Now, one of the downsides of using Google Forms to create your client intake form, it doesn't look as professional. It looks like a Google Forms, just like what everyone else has. And this is one of the ones I created many years ago. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad because I changed it a little bit and I changed some of the colors. I changed some of the fonts. And this is what it looks like if you don't make any changes. It has this generic color, the text is generic. Even though this is a very robust form, by the way, this form is identical to this form. I took the questions from this template in Canva and I used it to create this. So it's divided into the same sections. It's very robust. It works really well because you can see we have a variety of different types of questions, you know, like true, false, yes, no, um, check boxes, a scale that goes from one to 10. So it works really well. It just looks like this, which is why I thought, you know what? Google Forms might work for a lot more people if it didn't look like this, if it looked a little bit better. So that's what this video is about today. Without further ado, let's get started with today's tutorial. To get started with the process, click on customize theme. It's all the way at the top right hand corner. It's the second icon, click on that. Once that opens up, you see that we have the option to change the text, the header and the color. For the text style, we have the header, the question and the text. And I'll change this from the default to something that stands out so you can see where in the form this shows up. So I'll change it to this text. So you can see the header text only shows up here. And I'll change it back to Arial. And for the question, I'll use that same text that stands out. So for the question text, you see it shows up here. Basically anywhere there is a question and the header of a section, that's where the question text or font is used. Okay, right here. And finally, I'll change this back to Arial and change the text one to this text that stands out. And as you can see, it shows up where you have the answers to the question. And it also shows up here as well. Starting with the header, I'm gonna choose this option, Spectra, and leave the size as 24. And moving on to the question, I'm gonna change it to this option. And for the text, I'll use that same option that I used for the question, but just change the weight. So have this be light and for the question, just make sure it is normal. I have my text style the way I want. The header text stands out from the questions and the questions stand out from the responses. The next step would be to add a header. Before we do this, we do have to have something designed that has our brand colors. Of course, we're gonna go back to Canva to design something. So now that we're in Canva, I do have something already designed. The size that is required for Google Forms is 1600 by 400 pixel. If you cannot find this in the Canva library, go to your Canva homepage, click on create design and click on customize design. Once you're there, type in 1600 by 400 pixel. 
And when you do that, you can start designing your banner. So let's say we have the banner already designed and I have the colors that match my brand for my business. I'm going to go ahead and download it as a PNG file. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload the file here. Click on done. What is amazing about Google Forms is that it automatically recognizes the colors from my banner and it updates the color in the entire Google Form template. So as you can see, it changes it from the pink color that it has both around the section area and in the background area. The colors now match the colors that have been pulled from my banner image. So I'll change this section color to something a little bit darker because I do like that it contrasts well with the white color of the font. And then I will leave this background as the light gray color and close it out. And as you can see, it already looks so much better than it did before. You can preview your form to see what it looks like. It looks good. To share a form, go ahead and click on send. Make sure that you shorten your link. Copy this link, send it to your customer. Of course, when they complete the client intake form, their responses will show up here. Connect it to a Google Sheets file that will be saved automatically in your Google Drive. So I hope you found this helpful. Like I said before, I have this form available for sale in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in more of a traditional PDF client intake form, I have this for sale in my digital shop and I will leave links in the description box area. And if you do want me to show you how to design this from scratch, meaning how to put in all the different questions, how to divide it into different sections, creating these types of questions, let me know and I will be happy to create a separate tutorial. But to be honest, guys, Google Forms is very easy to use. All you have to do is play around with the different questions and find what works best for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.